Let's build some email sequences and automations using the free version of Systemi. Hey, I'm Jason, faith-based entrepreneur and marketing geek. Timestamps below, along with some other helpful links and resources, including a link to our funnel template pack that has all of our top converting funnel pages, this email campaign, as well as a course framework to help you go from idea to sales in just a few days. Now, jumping into Systemi here, from anywhere in your Systemi account, of course, we're going to come over here to emails. Now, automations is where you can create some advanced rules and workflows. It's really, really cool. But when you're on the free plan, uh, you run out of those pretty quick. So we are going to use a good old fashioned campaign to get the job done. Now, when you check out the link in the description, you can actually import this email campaign directly into your Systemi account. But if you wanted to create a new one from scratch, you'd go ahead and click on create campaign, give it a name, a quick description and save. Now the difference between an email campaign and an automation is an email campaign is just going to be triggered when you have a tag or an event, and then it's going to send emails in a straight order on a predetermined uh, delay. Whereas automations is going to check for rules. Like if they click this link, send them this email. If they opened, if they bought this thing, send them that, right? Like it gets really advanced really quick. So there's a lot you could do, but for me, I like to keep things simple. If someone takes an action, they join our email list or they purchase something. I want to just send them a couple of emails because I know exactly what they just did. And then I put them back on our broadcast list. I know some people are like, oh my gosh, how could you run email marketing? So simple. There's so many great tools. And I go, well, there's also a lot of things you could be doing, right? So <laughs> get off that. Let's go ahead and jump in here. So as you can see here, we have a couple of columns. Obviously everything's zero because this is a, a demo, but you'll see here the delays later. These are the delays in between the emails. So they all go out in one order. There's no automations in between them. Um, but you, you can set up an automation to start this campaign, which we'll do at the very end. So for editing, let's go ahead and jump in here and you can always click the three little dots to deactivate. Um, you can even create comments in here. Um, if you're, you know, keeping track of multiple things with other team members, but I'll just go ahead and click on the email so we can get into editing. Now for the subject line, the preview in the body, this is very important your subscribers see all of this, right? So the subject line is of course what people are going to see before they open the email when it's in their inbox. The preview is actually some inboxes and some apps will show the first couple lines of text of an email. So instead of showing the actual text, you can essentially make a little teaser for your, or it will be a one or two line teaser uh, for your email. So the point is to just entice people to open it. Um, and then when you download the template linked up in the description, there'll be each email will kind of have three bullet points on the types of things to include. And of course you could also just throw this over to AI and say, Hey, write me an email that has this stuff for whatever it is that you're selling or providing as your lead magnet. So we wanted to make this as simple as possible. Now for some boring settings, right? First we have your sender name, use your full name, plain. Right? Like this is not time, this is not time to be tongue in cheek. Email service providers are looking at this. If it has a bunch of special characters or emojis or it looks funny, your email deliverability is going to suffer dramatically. And Systemi might actually just not send your emails because if your email deliverability starts hurting other accounts, then that obviously they care about that. And that's something that they do actually track. So then we have the sender's address. So this is going to be where your email is sent from. Now this gets a little complicated. Uh, obviously they have a warning here saying, don't use a Gmail or Yahoo uh, address because it's not set up for that. But you do need to have your own custom domain and you'll have to do some things in the DNS settings to essentially say, hey, it's okay for Systemi to send emails on my behalf. Um, and then earlier this year, then 2024, there were some, email, ugh. there were some legal changes with some other like text files you have to have with your email, but Systemi has you covered with all that techie stuff, right? They stay up to date with it. So all you need to do is come over to your account 
and settings, click on emails, and then you can go ahead and actually uh, set up your email address here. They have support articles that go through what you need to add. It is a little confusing. And of course you can always use good old YouTube University because someone has probably made a tutorial specific to whatever service provider you're using to host your domain because everyone is a little different. So I'll go ahead and jump back over to our email here. Now, something I really like is you can actually attach files here. So you can attach your lead magnet directly, but if it's anything other than a PDF, uh, probably don't do it, right? Because the internet service providers are going to look at that file. They're going to want to scan it. And if it's too big or if it's a strange format, like you're sending a bunch of, uh, you know, Photoshop templates or something, you're more likely to get flagged as spam, right? So in that case, probably just be better to link over to Google Drive, which is what we wind up doing a lot. Now we have activate settings. We'll take care of that later because this is the first email, so it doesn't come after anything. And then of course we have personalization. Now, personally for personalization, I don't like using this because if anything is wrong or someone just gave us a fake name, then our emails look really, really silly. Uh, and you'll notice here, I have it formatted as plain text. That's what I recommend for these types of emails. You don't want to make fancy, overly designed uh, emails for this. There are places and times for that, but this is not one of them in the rapport sequence. So of course, I'll go ahead and jump back out to our campaign here and I'll click on the second one so we can talk about the delays and of course the oh so important testing of your email, right? So I'll come down here and the first thing we can do is select which email this is supposed to come after. So I have a five email sequence. I want this to be email number two, so it will come after the free gift. Then we say, how long do, should Systemi wait before it sends it? So you can wait 10 minutes, you could wait, wait 10 days, or in this particular instance, 10 hours, because I have this sequence formatted. So it goes out just about 48 hours after someone signs up. And then of course, you also have some advanced things where you can set the time of day you want the email to be sent. And then of course, you can even have uh, days skipped. So for example, if you don't want emails being sent on the weekend, when most people aren't opening them, then you can go ahead and say, hey, skip the weekend and just send it Monday morning sometime, right? And so that does it for the settings. Before we jump out here, already talked about just use plain text. So there's not much to go over there. You can see each one of the emails has some little prompts for you to get started. You do want to save and test every single one of your emails. So when you click this, you can go ahead and send the email to yourself read it word for word in your inbox, click every single link, click every single link twice, right? <laughs> because the last thing you want to do is send emails with broken links. And then you find out you could have been making sales and you're not making sales. It's just one of those things like making a YouTube video like this one. If we post a mistake, that's it. We can't fix it, right? It's it's not like a blog post where you can be like, oh, my bad. It's 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 literally one and done. So do pay really special attention. Do make sure that you're going through all of your emails, testing all those links. And of course, making sure nothing is formatted funny. I still remember one time we were, I was working with a client, I was at an agency and there was two extra spaces at the top of the email. And for some reason, MailChimp decided that meant it needed to put a plethora of just jumbled mess code. And we sent it out to thousands of people and boy, was boss not happy. So make sure <laughs> that you double, triple check those emails. All right. So let's go ahead and jump over to our funnels because this is going to be where we tell Systemi how to trigger it. Now, there are other ways to do this. You can have tags and you can use automations, but because we're on the free plan, I am working to absolutely maximize everything that you can do. And you're going to want to use the tag for something else probably. So I'm going to jump into my demo funnel here and I'm going to go to our landing page and I'm going to go to automation rules and I'm going to say, add a rule. So when funnel step, step is subscribed, I'm going to add a rule. Oops. Funnel step subscribed. I click on it. Then we can add a road action. So add an action. Now you can see here, you can add tags, remove tags. When you're on the paid plan, you'll probably use tags for everything, um, but you're limited on tags. So we're just going to skip that and go directly to the campaign. So someone opts in, 
campaign starts, right? So if we come down here, I'm sure it's right in front of me. Subscribe to a campaign. There it is, the first one. So I'll go ahead and click down here and I'm gonna say subscribe to this campaign, save rule. So now what happens, as soon as someone enters their name and email on this landing page here, they will automatically be subscribed to the automation that we just sent up, set, sent up, set, set up and that we will send out. Send up still doesn't work. So if I click over on campaigns, and free account. It is a little confusing because you can't tell from this page that you're actually using it and it's set up, um, but do make sure that all the statuses are active. Double check your timing if you're doing any sort of fancy thing with a countdown timer. And so of course this is correlated to 48 hours. And then of course in your funnel, just double check that on your landing page, when you have your automation rules, when the funnel step is subscribed, they are being sent to the proper campaign. And again, on the free plan, there are some limitations on how many of these you can set up. But if you decide to upgrade in the future, you can have all sorts of campaigns and tags and conditional whatevers and um, pull your hair out at the complexity <laughs> in there. But for now, that's all there is to it, to setting up your campaign inside of Systemi and having an automated equal email sequence go out right after someone opts in. So you now have everything you need to get started with email sequences and campaigns and automations inside of the free version of Systemi. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more marketing tutorials just like this one. And check out that link in the description to our sales funnel template pack that has our top converting sales funnel pages, this email campaign that's all ready to go and already timed out just drop in your own information and you're set or use the prompts there to help have AI do the heavy lifting for you. And of course we have a course framework to help you go from idea to sales as quickly as possible. So until the next, keep building the business you love.